what we do today, class. All right, so here we have uh, Newton's cradle. Don't zoom in on me, look at this, all right? <laughs> so by using this, I'll be explaining, you know, the class will be explaining um, conservation of momentum and also conservation of energy. So who doesn't, who, who wants to explain? Okay. Uh, ah. So as you can see here, these balls are well, pretty much at rest. So when we take one and we give it GPE in this position, uh, once I let it go, it will convert GPE into KE and it will collide with these. Now, as you can see, all these balls are touching already. So there will be a collision and it will transfer the energy all the way to the last ball, which will go up while these remain relatively stationary. Oopsies. Now, uh, as you can see, it did not really remain stationary, but I think... Let's do it again, let's do it again. Do it again, do it again. Mm. Uh, this this so cradle how? is a bit... Yeah, yeah I think we Make gotta... sure that all of them are... Can we hold it? And then... Just... Yeah, it still moves. It's, but... it's more stable now. Yeah, okay. So, as you can see, in a perfect world, this would remain perfectly stationary. And this would actually go on forever. Because in a closed system, energy is neither created nor destroyed. So, it will keep on converting and... Well, it would, yeah, it would just be perpetual. So what happens here is there's a dissipation in energy because of the collision, which it, it's given off as uh, heat and sound energy, as you can hear. And that's why it kind of stops. Like, that. Tell you want to... I think that's that basically it. We do a conclusion. So by grabbing two balls, we increase the momentum because the mass is now doubled. So the momentum is also doubled. So yeah. So two balls instead so of one. This is a good example showing energy and momentum. Since like goodbye or something like that. GG easy ball.